Hi my beautiful family and welcome to one of my videos. Today I'm very excited to try this very hyped up foundation, Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Uh, I'm very excited, this is in shade 1N and I'm not really sure that shade will match me but we'll see. And I'm very excited to try it, it's supposed to be waterproof and sweat resistant and it's come on build build foundation natural glow finish i'm going to wear it the whole day and see how it's going to go on on my skin and how it's going to wear on my combo skin very excited i heard so many people really liking this the first feeling when i received this is that the packaging is very small i thought this would be much bigger packaging or at least this one I mean, it looks so big and uh, on camera when other people review it, but when I hold it, it's very small. You do get a lot of product in here. You get, let me see if I can find it, 50 millilit milliliters. Uh, it's quite good, but let's see what it claims to be. Dior Backstage, Dior has created the first professional makeup line, a collection of makeup artist essentials inspired by Energy Backstage at the runway shows. Shades to suit all skin tones and exclusive versatility and buildable texture. The face and body foundation is the Dior makeup artist's secret weapon to create instantly flawless complexion from a natural nude glow to high coverage per perfection. That sounds very interesting. I really, really want to see this. And um, yeah, what does it claim? Use your fingers to gently tap one layer of foundation and massage into face. That's a light nude coverage. If you want medium, apply two layers with a flat brush from center of the face and full coverage, full professional coverage is use a round brush and apply up to three layers. So they said to use fingers or the brush. I'm going to try it with a beauty blender and the brush. This one is from Jeffree Star and uh, Jeffree Star and um, Morphe collection. So I'm going to try both of them to see what I think. But if you're interested to see what I feel about this foundation and how uh, it's applying on my face, then please keep on watching. It feels like it's very liquidy. Liquidy. Oh, it, it's very, it's liquidy. So this is how much. Let's, oh, I forgot to prime my face. So let's prime. It looks more pink undertone. It says nude, but it looks to be pink undertone. But let's see. We primed our skin. So let's go in with the foundation. Let's use a beauty blender on this side. The shade feels kind of nice, all right. Maybe a little bit lighter than I would like it to, but it's okay. We can work with it. But I feel like I need more coverage. Because the sponge peak kind of absorbs a lot of the foundation. And I feel like it looks very nice. It's a nice coverage. I mean, this is very medium coverage, but I kind of like it. It it kind of it made everything look so even and nice. I like it so far. So let's go in on the other side with the brush. On this side. I really, really like this brush. It's very soft. It doesn't make my foundation look streaky. The foundation, it has like a perfumey scent, typical Dior scent. So this is kind of one layer of the foundation with the brush and I kind of like how it looks. Though it looks a little bit funny on the nose. Uh, but let's build it up a little bit.
So this is two layers. I'm just going to go in with one more layer on whole face with a brush and then I'll do Beauty Blender. So I'm just trying to take off the excess and uh, make the foundation sink into the skin. Because I do like how this foundation is applying with the sponge and with the brush, though I do need to use more product when I use the sponge. This foundation looks like my skin. I really like how it's looking right now. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to tell you what I think. Right now it's 10 o'clock and I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup. So I need to comb my hair, but uh, let's see how the foundation looks now when I finish the rest of the makeup. It looks like my skin. It doesn't look matte, it just looks like my skin. It looks very natural, it doesn't look cake, it doesn't look heavy. Uh, I really like how it how it looks right now. So I hope it will stay like this the whole day. I had this foundation for 30 minutes and it's looking good so far. I really like how it looks on my skin. It looks like my skin but much better. It, does, it doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel it on my uh, on my skin. I don't on my face. Uh, it feels very nice and uh, I like the shade. Shade kind of looks good on me. Uh, so I'm very interested to see how this is going to last the whole day. So let's set it with some setting powder, or setting spray setting powder. I'm going to use this one, I'm almost done with it. And we leave it like this the whole day and um, yeah. We'll see in a couple of hours. So see you soon. I'll do a check-in or I'll wear it whole day and I'll be back to tell you what I really think about it. So see you soon. Hi family. It's now 20 past 8 and I'll be having this foundation for around, around 10 hours. And this is how it looks. I didn't touch up, didn't do anything. It was very hot today. It was over 27 degrees and almost 30 degrees so it's a very very warm day and uh, the foundation looks pretty good i don't know if the light is kind of strange the sun is going down but uh i think it looks very very nice when i first looked at myself in the mirror i kind of felt it looked a little bit dry not too dry not it didn't sink into my fine lines or anything it just looked a little bit dry but uh, um, but the whole day I was sweating and it was it was very warm day and my foundation hold up it didn't break uh, break apart anywhere it looks very very nice uh, just a little bit shiny on my nose but not at all much so this is how it looks and I'm really happy I think this foundation is very very good I maybe I could go up a shade I feel like it's just right um, let me put you back I feel like it's just exactly my shade like my skin tone right now and I feel very pale uh, I look kind of pale uh, I don't like that but maybe I could go up a shade but I really like this foundation and I think it's worth the hype so if you're interested you can check it out too because it's a very nice foundation so guys I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.